Oh, it's three houses time. We are in the middle of the holy mausoleum battle. And all I gotta do is move Yuri. Sure thing. To not fight the Death Knight, because screw that, bro. Yeah, no. See? Nothing. Even if I didn't know this for a two. Nope. people over here, but you know what? I'm on it. I'm not gonna question it. You're out of luck. I like how this feels. Cut through. Give it my all. Mm. No, not gonna do that. Not worth it. Okay. I'm still gonna move him here, though. Here goes. You can't do anything. Yeah, she can't do range of magic. Ready. Far range of magic. Ingrid sucks, per usual. Stay focused. So it looks like it's gonna be Violet again. Should I go for it? Let's do it. Now's our chance. Bless. I'll go. What should I do? Let's see here. Don't waste it. Look at that. Can't even hit kid him. Imagine doing only one damage to Dimitri. Oh my. I was not expecting her to do 20 times 2 damage and then crit. Okay, show off. Well done. Okay, let's... I need to heal him. That's a must. I 
show you one. Okay. Attack. Is this... Yeah, this is not going hot, so hot. Okay. Uh. Yeah, let's go for it. So Just they might up. die. But you know what? It's okay. It's all becoming clearer. Um, yeah, he's probably gonna die. Yeah, he's definitely gonna die. That is quite unfortunate. Luckily, we have Dimitri. Dimitri, my boy. Who's next? Come and try and hit Dimitri. Try, I dare you. Okay. Another win. See, he has high res, so that's really nice. Do you, on the other hand? It does not have high res. But you know what? It's okay. Had to be done. Yeah. That's okay. That's why we have more setas, right? Rattling doesn't do anything for her XP. It kind of makes it seem pointless. This is our chance. Wow, I love when enemies do gambits. It's so hilarious. <laughs> Perfect. Let's think carefully. Oh my gosh, another one. Imagine having a gambit that actually works. Okay. I've improved. You have indeed improved. <laughs> 
Meanwhile, Felix over here. So stupid good. Why am I even here? The one thing I do miss in Engage that I is this in three houses is the combat arts. That's the one thing I do miss. These combat arts are cool. Combat arts are kind of nice sometimes. I'm on it. Why did I just use Physic? Oh my gosh. You know what? Wow, this is they're making it so hard. You're too late. The seal will be broken any minute now. That is that. Wow, it's so this is such a hard game. Another step forward. I don't know why, like Bylus is just so good. It's no use. A seal is broken. You can't. Huh? A sword. sword is I see what a pleasant surprise oh my gosh look they didn't find Saros what that's so weird they got away we have no choice but to let them go for now professor the way that sword is glowing I wonder is the intruder here oh looks like you have this under control you Round up any stragglers. Will do. Yeah, sounds about right. Felix MVP. There's so much I want to say right now about the sword. Like, the lore behind it and everything, but, like, I can't right now. That is a, that is a talk for later when we, we see more stuff. Oh, boy. Does it get interesting? Sword of the Creator. Said it's gonna be like, bruh, no. You? No. As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. 
Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No, this isn't what we were told would happen. We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait! Please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit. Like, the whole thing with Rhea is that she puts herself so high on this pedestal that, like, her word is, like, you know, it. It's her way or the highway. And she's very much so, like, you screw up, I don't care, you die. And, like, that's a little, that's a little bit extreme. Just a little bit. Because, you know... You'd think that the whole Archbishop of the Church would not want to kill people, but... You know what? She can, she can do what she wants, I guess. She has that power. I have opinions about Rhea. Strong opinions, but anyway. Dimitri's out here like, bro, what? There you have it. It seems the assassination attempt and the attack on the Holy Mausoleum were all the work of the Western Church. As for the Masked Knight who led the attack, I'm afraid his whereabouts are yet unknown. It makes no sense that the Western Church would try such a thing. It just goes to show that the Church of Seros is not completely united. The Church is led by those here at Garrick Mach, and the Western Church doesn't have a strong voice on its governing council. I imagine the Western Church has harbored some resentment toward the Central Church for a while now. The Western Church... dot dot dot... Ah, that's right. Geralt did say that you grew up outside the influence of the Church. The Church of Seros is split into a few branches across Fodlan. The largest being the Central Church, which is headquartered right here at Garrett Mach. The Western Church lies far to the west of Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato held his rebellion. It's situated on the far side of the Kingdom's most impressive fortress, Aryan Road. I imagine the Western Church's intention was to eliminate Lady Rhea, and the Central Church's authority along with her. Naturally, the Knights will be riding out to question the Western Church's top officials. Or rather, to punish them. When they do, Your Highness, we will likely be asked to help carry out said punishment. Indeed. Now, I don't mean to be rude, Professor, but I must say your situation is rather unusual. For someone to grow up in Fodlan, and yet never have any contact with the Church of Saros is... It's hard to believe. Gerald is not exactly a very pious man, as I would say. He's kind of just like, screw you people. After, after like, he left, he basically was like, yeah, screw you people. I'm done. I'm going to disappear and hopefully never come back. But you know what? As fate would have it, he back. I wonder why the Archbishop would hire someone like that as a professor. Very interesting to do. So, those people from the Western Church were... Um, Lady Rhea had them killed, didn't she? Well, of course she did. Going against the teachings of Saros like that, quite unforgivable. It surprises me that Mercedes is the one who's like, Yeah, sure. That's, I'm okay with them dying. You know what? It's okay. Those who stray must be punished, I suppose. That said, Professor, I... There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. Oh boy, by listen trouble. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. 
However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The Professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its crest stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. Spooky. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Yes, said it seems- yeah, I agree, said it. It seems kind of odd that the most precious artifact in the whole church is being given to Byleth? Like, what? Wild. Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Vordlan would be consumed by war. Who did it? Nemesis? Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlan was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlan. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sedeth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious, so why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? It certainly is strange. I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh, goodness, what was her name? Ka... Cat... Uh... Catherine? Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole, where something should have been, but is no more. 
I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet... I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. There you go. Next chapter, let's go. Part one, white clouds, verdant rain moon, tower of black winds. The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlin are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlin that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. I kind of forgot what happens in this month. Like, I think I remember, but I'm not even, I'm not sure. You know, I know way too much about this game and the lore. Because every time I replay it, I'm like, oh my gosh. Now that I know what's going on, it's so clear what they're hinting at or what they're trying to say. But, you know, when you don't know what's going on, it's so hard. Oh my gosh, I got some cash money. I have a new mission for you, Professor. Okay. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. Again. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Oh, it's this one. The Lands of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. Why was he disowned? I believe it had something to do with his lack of a crest. Such happenings are fairly common within the kingdom. The Crestless cannot unleash the Goddess's power even if they possess a relic. Nonetheless, they are still capable of simply wielding those weapons. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. I heard about our mission for this month. So, we are to eradicate thieves in Kingdom territory. I'm sorry for dragging you into the Kingdom's petty squabbles. This should not be your burden to bear, but my own. It's okay, I'm getting paid for it, I guess, so... Sure. Thank you, Professor. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. Hmm? Your Highness? Ah, it's been ages. It's been a long time. Two years, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, your highness. You've grown so much in those years. I hardly recognize you. Who this? Who that? This is Rob Reed, an old friend of my father's. I believe I've mentioned him, if you recall. When my father died four years ago, he looked after me as though I were his own son. Ha <laughs> ha! You flatter me, Your Highness. It was my honor to care for such a fine young man. It's nice to finally meet you, Professor. My son, Felix, has mentioned you on occasion. What brings you to the monastery, Roderick? Is it the thieves plaguing the kingdom? I'm afraid so. 
This is not merely a problem for House Gautier, but for everyone. The thieves have set up their headquarters in Fraldarius territory, and are mercilessly pillaging the villagers of that area. You have our full support in stopping those dastards. I thank you for your help, both of you. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. That is what you possess. Ooh. Your ability to wield the Sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected, there can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. I was like, uh, okay. Don't know what to say, but okay. Oh my gosh, it's Manuela's birthday. Tea party time. Mmm. Angelica. Thank you for your invitation. To what do I owe this surprise? Birthday. Thank you. Oh, you don't like the tea? I guess wrong. It's good. Huh? Dining partners? Yeah. Hopes for your future. Oh. Yeah. Best performance venues. Yeah. Look at me go. Am I that terrible of a woman? So I'm a little unkempt. What of it? I don't know. Dudes don't like basic girls, I guess. Admonish. That's right. Nah, you're perfect, Manuela. Everyone should love you and adore you. Oh my gosh, should I give her a gift? Would she like an owl feather? Oh, Professor. This makes me very happy. You're welcome, bro. Thanks for the treat. Come by the infirmary anytime you need anything. I'll be waiting, Professor. Yay. Oh my gosh, it's explore day. No, it's not. I gotta end the episode. Uh yeah, okay. I'm just gonna segue right into the next one. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna end this one and the next one you'll see me on the same screen and we'll just keep going. So yeah, this game is so much to it. Like the you play one route and you think you know what's going on, but then you play another route and you're like, oh my gosh. And you play another one, it's like your mind just gets blown every time. And it's just so good. And I'm happy I'm replaying the Blue Lions because I really wanted to, want to get like a better like feel for it rather than just trying to rush through it. So... 
Yeah, this will be a good ride. It'll be a long, it'll be a long one. Very, very long, but good. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Share with your friends. All that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.